Before we go into a long-term review of the Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, I want to do what I can to help out the situation in India right now. The other day, I watched an absolutely heartbreaking documentary piece about the current state of the pandemic in India. They've got people dying in the streets. They don't have enough doctors. People are buying their own medicine, but they don't have the doctors to administer. It, it's just, it's terrible. At the same time, here in Vietnam, I can't go teach. This week, I got a letter from my work saying that because of the current pandemic conditions, I'm out of a job. And the second job that I was looking to start, I can't start that now either. Meaning that here, you and me on YouTube is the only way I can make money. So I wanted to come up with a happy compromise of what I could do to help the situation in India without giving away all of my earnings from YouTube. And for this week, today is May the 8th. Uh, all of the videos I'm gonna be doing from May the 7th to May the 14th, those proceeds, 100% of those proceeds for the month of May are going to go towards some type of relief effort in India. My Indian viewers have already said don't donate to the PM fund, but the way you guys can help is by sharing my videos, watching my videos till the very end. That's how I make more money on these videos. I'm gonna be completely transparent about this, posting screenshots of my earnings on them. And then whatever we earn for these videos for this week, I'm going to double that with my own money and donate it to India because a large part of my viewership lives in India right now and they need our help. So. Let's hop into this video. This is the Pixel Experience ROM. I've been using this now for a little over a week and it's time for me to move on and I wanted to give you guys what my takeaway, what my thoughts and summary was from my time with this ROM. Now, this ROM is fast and there's no way to get around that, especially when going through kind of system animations and system stuff and it really, is great. Like, I think that it felt really, really fast. Now, my biggest qualms and my biggest issue uh, with kind of the, the Pixel Experience ROMs uh, was the fact that essentially not being able to pin apps open in the background meant that uh, if I had like open apps that I didn't really care about keeping open, those would oftentimes stay open. The apps that I would frequently use or the apps that I would want to keep open for kind of fax access, things like Google Maps, um, those would get closed in the background if I was using a, a large variety of different apps one day because the device has a limited amount of RAM. And ultimately for me, I felt that the performance on MIUI, uh, especially when it was set up the way I set MIUI up, and you guys can check out a video about that linked up here, I felt that real world day-to-day -day cases, MIUI was just as quick, if not quicker, than open source Android. And while I do like the fact that, um, you know, apps are not force closed in the background necessarily in Android open source. I missed being able to pin stuff open uh, kind of in, in, in general. And it's something that I, I definitely missed. Uh, and if there is an Android open source ROM that, uh, why is the screen now so dim? dim? Uh, if there is an Android open source ROM that kind of fixes that, then it's something that I would definitely want to try. Now, while I'm not a big gamer and I didn't necessarily test gaming performance, uh, I found that just kind of performance overall in general was good. I definitely did miss having the stock MIUI camera and that's one of the reasons I'm gonna be flashing MIUI 12.5, as well as also missing uh, some of the picture in picture, kind of the small window stuff that we have in MIUI. And those are things that I use pretty frequently. Um, and those are things that just kind of overall, I found to be quite, see here you guys can see. Definitely getting like, this, this ROM is good and this ROM is, is quick, but the split window stuff 
it's just I felt I felt that MIUI just offered more usefulness, and that's kind of it. So. Uh, if you guys have an Android open source ROM that you want me to try, comment that in the uh, comment section down below. If you want more money to be donated uh, to India, then go ahead and share this video with a friend because I'm doing everything I can to help India out right now. And the reality of it is that uh, YouTube is the only way I can really, really make money at this point. So share this video uh, i will be sharing screenshots and sharing uh, proof i want to make this as i want to make this as transparent as possible about um donating money money to india or donating youtube profits to india and uh yeah that's it hope everyone stays safe and wash your fucking hands peace